You're right there, guys. How are you doing? It's Speed here. 2022 has to be one of the best years for gaming I've ever had, and these are my top five games of the year. Number five, Bug Fables. With the original Paper Mario being one of my favorite games of all time, an indie game inspired by it quickly got my interest, and the game isn't even subtle about it. Chapter-based structures, your damage is done by attack minus defense, you have medals of which you can completely break the game with. If it was in the first two Paper Mario games, it's pretty much here. And since I loved all about the first two Paper Mario games, obviously I love it here. Number four, Spark the Electric Jester 3. With 3D platformers being my favorite genre of gameplay, that indie hub world direct from last year was right up my street. And the game that caught my interest straight away was Spark the Electric Jester 3. And after playing through the game, I can absolutely see why that was. Every aspect of Spark, whether it was platforming, running at high speeds, or even the combat were an absolute blast to control. And the level designs were also awesome, given how non-linear they were. You'll notice this especially when going for the exploration medals. All of that made the game an absolute blast to play. Number 3, Persona 5 Royale. There's a lot I want to say about this game, but honestly, it's kind of hard to do that without getting to minor spoilers. Because the story, the characters, and especially the Phantom Thief gameplay truly made my playthrough of this game a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Number 2, Freedom Planet 2. At the start of this year, Freedom Planet was my favorite indie game and side-scroller. Now it's his sequel. For starters, I love all the improvements they made to the characters. Lilith Cyclone no longer uses energy, and she can use her Rising Slash in the middle of the air. Carol has a new disc move, allowing for better vertical mobility. Mila's actually fun to play as, and Nira can freeze enemies and then stab them to death. All four of these lasses were a blast to play as, through levels that were a blast to play through, with songs that were a blast to listen to. Before I get to number one, I just want to give a quick shout out to the Cuphead DLC, since it had some of the best bosses and weapons in the game. I also want to give a shout out to Kirby and the Forgotten Land, as it's easily one of the best 3D platformers I've played. Number one is Platoon 3. Yeah, no fucking surprise here. I've never been more hyped for a game than this. The turf wars on the rank modes are still an absolute blast with friends, especially with a tri slosher. I bloody love that thing. And the fact that there's now two rank modes options at any given time allows for a lot more variety. The single player campaign, whilst a step down from Splatoon 2, was still a fun time in its own right, and it easily has the best finale in the series. But my favourite part of Splatoon 3 has to be the new additions to Salmon Run. The new events and egg throwing mechanic made this mode so much fun to play. And then there's table turf battles. There are so many great modes in this game that it had to be my favourite game of the year.